Well, hello, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Candy, and today we are talking summer shoes. Okay, so in full disclaimer, your girl is a little of a shoe fanatic. I just love shoes. I always have. Um, I can remember stories. My mom told me about how I'd walk around in my godmother's heels when I was like two. Okay, so with that being said, no pressure. I'm going to show you pretty much every style of shoe that you should have in your closet but you don't have to have all of them just keep that in mind okay with that being said i've enlisted kiara to help me do this because honey trying on all of these shoes was not in your girl's favor okay so you're going to see some trying on by kiara which she actually wears a size eight i am a seven and a half so some of the shoes may look a little on the smaller side. Don't judge, we just wanted to give you some inspiration. If you're like me and you love knowing what's new and what's next, fashion, beauty, and travel, then click that subscribe button, become a part of my crew. I would love to have you. When I pulled these shoes, I tried to make sure that everything was still available and or there was something very similar to it. So I will link everything that you see in this video down in the description box you guys can shop from there thank you again to everyone who supports shopping through the links it doesn't cost you anything but your girl does receive a small commission on the back end i appreciate it, it helps to keep the blog going so that i can bring you guys all these wonderful hauls enough talking let's get into the shoes so these are going to kind of be in any order i'm going to show you sneakers sandals flats heels everything and like I said, no pressure to have them all. Just, you know, try to figure out what works for your wardrobe. Also, I will put it out there. I love a good neutral, okay? I love pops of color and pattern, but neutrals are just so easy to, like, wear with anything. So you're going to see a lot of black, tan, white, leopard, and then some pops of color because that's pretty much how my mind works when I'm looking at something I'm like how many ways can I wear this and a lot of times to be able to do that you need things that you can are more neutral so that way they can go with a lot of different outfits okay starting with my new babies these are from Lene Palio I absolutely love this brand okay I found them at Nordstrom's last year. I reached out to them after a, buying a pair of their sneakers on my own, loving them. And the brand has since, um, we've started to partner. We just did a giveaway on Instagram and their shoes are so well made. They are available at Nordstrom's. I think they're on Farfetch and they also sell direct through their website. I love going to Nordstrom's because it gives a really good review. Like they will tell you if something fits true to size. Now these are um, European size, but like they're European cut. That's what I should say. These are European cut, but they have American sizing. So I got these in a seven and a half. I love this little square detail and the padded straps is really cool. This is very much on trend right now for summer. This has a Velcro strap which makes it really easy to get in and out of. You don't have to worry about buckles. Um, I will note that the strap on the back for me is a little tight, so therefore I have to like snap it like right at the end of the Velcro. So it is adjustable in that fact. Once I did that, they're perfectly fine. Very comfortable. It's a shorter heel, as you can see. I think this one might be like a three inch heel, but it's so cute. I love like this little curvature detail. So these come in black, tan, and a metallic like goldy silver color, which I was on the fence between the black and that color. I think the black is more of a staple, but that gold color is one that is hard to find. So I think I will be placing a separate order for those as well. If mm. your foot is, um, if you have mm. more on the wide, getting messages sorry guys if your foot is more on the wide wider side i would definitely size up in this because you're going to need other additional room across the strap and also potentially in the back as well so i would say go up a half a size on the sandals if your foot is a little bit wider next up also from lene palio are these gorgeous tan 
like um, slides. These are so cute. First of all, I love this really beautiful kind of like neutral color. It's a faux suede. But what I love the most about these shoes is the heel and how like the tan coordinates. So they have these in gray, black, and also the tan color. And it just stood out to me that this just looks so well. Like, I don't know, like the black and the gray also have the same neutral heel, but it was something about the tan next to the neutral heel that just did it for me. So I was like, okay, I want these. I also ordered these in a seven and a half. This band is a little tight across the top of my foot, but if I would have gone up to an eight, it would have flopped. So I think with a little bit of wear, these will be perfectly fine. Again, you have that square toe, which I like this. I like the fact that it's not like a square square. It's kind of like an asymmetrical square if that makes sense. Um, so I really love these. Again, nice low heel, because as I told you in my Eloquy haul, I, I share with you guys, I'm all about comfortable heels. I do not want to be in like four or five inch heels all summer. It's nice to have when I'm having like those cute shoe moments, but for like everyday wear, I think something like this is so much more comfortable and wearable. Speaking of kitten heels and my Eloquy haul, these are the leopard kitten heels that I showed you in that haul. Um, these are from Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman happens to be one of my favorite brands. Um, they just make really quality shoes. They're always on trend and they fit great. So um, in this particular brand, I'm typically seven and a half to an eight. Most of the time I get an eight. Let's see what these are. Hold on. These are an eight. I knew it. Sometimes, most of the time with them, I end up going up a half a size um, to an eight because of the width. Um, they're a little bit more on the narrow cut, but these are so good. I love them. I find myself constantly reaching for them because, again, the leopard is just so fun, but it's also very neutral, so it goes with pretty much everything. The fact that it's a kitten heel makes them so comfortable, and I know sometimes people can be like a little bit um, nervous about getting a pointy toe shoe. I always say, again, if you, especially if you go up that half a size, it gives you a little bit more room here, so they don't tend to be as uncomfortable. I always find that when I grab a pointy toe shoe, it just kind of like lengthens the leg a little bit. So maybe that's like a tip for my petite girls. If you want to look a little longer, a little bit taller, then go for a pointy toe shoe, something that kind of like pulls the foot a little bit more. Um, I love these ones in particular. I was able to find a exact link to them. So don't hesitate because they will sell out. Um, if you're looking for some leopard shoes, Our shoes are from Steve Matten, and I'm going to be completely honest with you and tell you and forewarn you that these shoes are not for the faint of heart, okay? A, this strap detail that they have here, I don't know what Steve Matten was thinking because normally, like, their straps and the fate is always good. Now, these are a size 9. Yeah, these are size nine medium. They are so cute. They have like the little short heel here that's like a little bit narrow and it kind of flares a little bit. Love again, the square detail across the front. The color is really what drew me to these shoes. They're absolutely stunning. With all of that being said, this strap is cut so awkward. I'm not sure whose ankle they used for the fit model for these shoes but you have to wrap it multiple times. That's like the whole design of it. And then buckle the strap. Well, when I went to go read the other reviews, I wasn't the only person who had this problem where it is like, once you have the shoe on, it's almost impossible to get it to close, like to snap. It's just the design of the shoe. Like once you wrap it around, I think it's three times because it's like a double strap to get it to connect is like torture. I have to literally have Kira help me put them on. Um, and it was in the reviews. Everyone said it. Like every single person was like, I don't know what's going on with the ankle strap on these. They're great, but the ankle strap is a pain. Now, mind you, I'm a seven and a half. These are a size nine. So that tells you how far up I had to go to find a pair that would fit my ankle. So that's just a little bit of a warning with these. The color is stunning. I have not found this color in another pair of shoes um, yet. And if I do, I will keep you guys posted because the color is fantastic. It's just honestly this, this ankle strap that's like 
a no-go but I think a good pair of sneakers is a must for summer especially a nice crisp pair of white sneakers so these are from Lene Palio and um, these are actually their new sneaker launch for spring summer these are absolutely gorgeous so they're white and they have this beautiful like black contrast stitching um, they also come in a gorgeous like pinky nude color with the stitching as well now the really fun part about this um these particular sneakers is they come in so many different options so they have the white ones and i also have the gold glitters so i got these actually um around holiday time lone sent them to me as a holiday gift I love them. I traveled in these to Florida and I got so many compliments on them because they're just a unique sneaker, but at the same time, they're still very like classic. So this is the gold. This also comes in a black glitter and I want to say there's also a silver glitter, but don't quote me. I will drop all of the colors down in the description box, but these are really cute, very comfortable. I want to say I size up in this. Yes. So, so these are a size eight. Um, again, I'm typically a seven and a half, but I want it to be able to wear socks with them So I'm able to wear like a thin ankle sock with these and they're more than comfortable If you like to wear a thicker sock, then I would say probably go a whole half a, a whole size up If thin socks are good for you, then a half size is more than com um, comfortable And if you don't wear socks at all, you probably could go true to size um, On these these were the original Lene Palios that I picked up. These are their Kendra sneakers I grabbed these last summer and I love them. Not only did I love them, but you guys love them because I shared them on my Like to Know It and it was funny. It was one of the pictures that Like to Know It actually reshared. So many of you picked up these sneakers, rightfully so. They are so cute. Um, again, that almost like square rectangular toe makes them so unique. The white sole with the thick black line. It's like Chef Kiss. Um, these are the original Linnaeus. Kiara picked these up in the white version. She loves them. She wears them all the time. Um, and so these are just a really good solid pair of sneakers. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more sophisticated, but at the same time, you still want like a dress sneaker, um, these are a great option. These I actually picked up in a seven and a half because again, they were the first pair of sneakers that I purchased from them, not really understanding the size. With these, I cannot wear socks at all um they are a bit like they're like they fit without socks so that's why when i ordered the next pair i did go up a half a size just an fyi okay speaking of necessities i know you're gonna look at me you're gonna roll your eyes and say candace a pair of loafers really yes loafers are an absolute necessity okay how many times do you see women in those gucci loafers and they're just like they look so clean with a pair of jeans, a white linen like button down, maybe a hat and a pair of loafers. There's like no other combination. Um, with that being said, I again have fangirled over the Gucci loafers forever, but the price tag is just like not there yet. With that being said, I was able to find these as an alternative and these are from Sam Edelman. They're loafers are so comparable to the gucci's it's not even funny so the gucci loafers also have like this indent where you can like knock them down and wear them as a slide you can do that as well here um actually when you buy the gucci loafers they actually come like that and then you can pop the back up these have again that boning across the the front so it's really they just and they're a beautiful like soft leather they wear amazing and if you're looking for the gucci loafers but you don't want to spend gucci money the sam edelman's are the next best option it's still an investment but loafers are again just those type of shoes that i think you can wear in so many ways it's a great alternative to sneakers or slides if you're like trying to think of how do you style them and actually hide low hide high low lux yes um, Hilo Lux did a review of things that she would love to see go away and things that she th doesn't think like people um, value as much as they should and loafers were one of the things that she said everyone should have a pair of. I love mine. I have them in red and I also have them in leopard. That same leopard like um, what's it called? Calf hair? I also have them in the calf hair leather um, the calf hair leopard 
version as well. So they're the same as the pointy toe kitten heels that I just showed you, except they're in a loafer. So those two are like my staples. Also a good pair of black ones would be nice. That's on my wish list. Maybe come um, like holiday time, I'll grab those as well. Up are espadrilles. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already have seen my Schultz platform espadrilles. I get so many questions about them. I did not want to include them in this haul because they're no longer available and I knew like everyone was going to ask for them and I can't find like an ax actual like exact dupe for them. I found similar ones but none that are like that amazing with that being said. <laughs> with that being said, I wanted to show you my solo dose. These are like your classic espadrilles. They come in a bunch of different um, patterns and finishes and textures. The leather, I looked online, the leather is not available currently. I think they may roll out the leather in fall, but um, right now for summer, they have the linen and it comes in a bunch of different colors in this front piece. And now they also do it in a V versus like a rounded front. It has like a V on it. I love these they're so comfortable. These are so old. I mean, you'll probably, you can tell they, they're very worn. Um, they're really comfortable. They look great with dresses, skirts, um, pedal pushers, culottes, like that kind of thing. Anything that kind of shows the ankle. I think these are a great option. One thing um, I share, I'm going to share like the hack on how you can actually tie them so that they don't fall down. I actually learned this from an Indigo Day on Instagram, showed on a reel how to do it. So basically you take this piece and pull it to the front, wrap it around your ankle, and then pull tight or like to the point where it's like firm and then start to um, tie it. That will give it a little bit of stability and they won't flop and they also won't like fall down as quickly. Um, you can also not tie them as high. Like I know a lot of times we wanna do like the ballerina tie on these. You don't have to. You can actually just wrap them around the lower ankle and they look just as good um, as well. So a good pair of espadrilles is definitely a summer must have for me. New addition to my shoe collection. And it was by your suggestion. I did not own like any like slides, I guess, or like flip flops. I just didn't own any. Um, it's not really a shoe that I go to very often. Um, but with that being said, when I was going to Florida, I asked like what was missing and the number one answer was a cute pair of like flats. So I went and picked up a pair from Tory Burch. Now these are from the Tory Burch outlet. With that being said, the ones that I was able to find online are so much nicer. They have like the circle with like the cutouts on them. I will link those below because you can't link for the Tory Burch outlet, unfortunately. Um, these are really comfortable. I wish, in all actuality, I would have gotten the ones that I'm going to be linking for you guys because the band, again, anything that has that like really chunky, thick band across the middle section for me, it just doesn't fit as comfortably as maybe like a thinner band. And these right here, they kind of sit a little bit tight right across that, that band. But other than that, they're very comfortable. I love the snake print. It goes with pretty much everything. And it was true, this was like the one thing that I was missing and it made my vacation capsule um, pretty complete. I definitely grabbed these a couple of times while I was on vacation um, because they were just cute and they were super easy to like pop on and just run to the store or you know, you know, wear to the beach, things like that. So these next shoes have been up for debate in my household at least. Kiara absolutely despises these shoes. <laughs> These are the Chanel inspired dad sandal. Now I actually picked these up from Just Fab, a part of the Kelly Rowling collection. I was able to find a pair from Steve Matten that are very, very similar that I'm going to be linking for you guys. I think they're super cute. I think they're like the ugly sandal, but they're cute. Like the ugly cute sandal, I guess. Um, they're really comfortable. They are a little bit heavier because you get that thick sole. So they're a little bit more like chunky, substantial on the foot. But I think it's a really cool way to like take an ugly trend and have fun with it. Um, I don't think these are going to be like anything overly serious. Now, I will also say that is the reason that I got them from Just Fab. I think Just Fab is a great membership, especially for trying trends that you may not wear all the time. Um, it's a really good way to like inexpensively try something new. So I got these a part of like, you know, the Just Fab partnership. It's like such an easy way to like say, okay, let me try this. And then if you love it, then maybe you take and invest in like the 
actual like version of the shoes. Um, in this case, it would be the Chanel sandals. But a great alternative are these from Just Fab and also the ones from Steve Matten have a strap across the back, which I think is really nice. Sometimes these can be, like I said, a little heavy, but having that support of a back strap would actually be nice because it would help to relieve some of the, like, pressure of these like pulling backwards so that's why i did link those um down in the description box to hear from you let me know what do you think of this trend are you a fan of the dad sandals or is it an absolute no for you did you guys hear bella in the background crying she's so funny she's been making her little debuts on on youtube she's always on instagram but now she's like wanting to be closer right now next up are literally my have been my go-to's for summer these i didn't think i was going to get so much wear out of these sandals but a they're really comfortable and it's something about a white sandal it's just something about it so these are absolutely amazing um i love again that asymmetrical square i'm telling you it's all about it for this for this for me for summer this thong is not the most comfortable i'm not even gonna like kid to you it's not uncomfortable but a thong sandal in general is just not overly comfortable, but they look amazing on. Um, I got these in, I want to say these are seven and a half. Yes, I got these in a seven and a half. So true to size, I would not have gotten up. I just think in general, it's just a thong sandal. What can you do? It has this really great, like clear ball heel. And um, these come in a sky blue, lime green, black, and then the white. I will link all of this below, don't worry. I actually wanna go grab a second pair of these. I'm kind of in between going for the black or getting a pair of like the green or the blue, but they're such a great buy. I think they're like under $60 um, when they're on sale. So, and they've been running promotions, you know, all the time. So these are really good buy. They're super cute. I've gotten so many compliments on them every single time I share them. Don't worry, we have just a couple more pair of sandals. Like I said, I know this is like a large collection of shoes. I really don't think it really is, but some people have told me it's a large large collection of shoes. But with that being said, um, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys like how I go through the thought processes of picking up shoes for each season. And I think also summer is one of those things where you're out a lot. You're gonna be out with your friends, you know, vacation brunching all those things so you kind of need a couple extra pair of sandals in you know like maybe summer heels that when you move into other seasons where you're not going out as much you may not need as much at least that's how i justified it in my mind so with that being said um these are probably my favorite and most comfortable pair of shoes that i picked up this summer these are black braided I mean ugh, this this braid is so comfortable across the front of the foot I love that it's a kitten heel and as you see it has like a twist to it I don't know if you guys will be able to see it let's see so you see here it like maybe if I go here okay so here it kind of goes like a triangle and it's got like this cute little twist to it I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but these are great again has that square toe the braid across the top is very much in trend. This black is just gorgeous. Like These are literally my favorite shoes that I've bought all summer long. Um, I wear them constantly. <laughs> I'm constantly grabbing for them almost to the point where I have to tell myself, no, stop it. I don't believe these came in other colors, but if they did, I will drop them down in the description box. But these were also another great buy. And for my ladies who are looking for good kitten heels, Right now is the time to pick them up, honey, because they are, it's like kitten heel season. Going to the opposite end of the spectrum, let's go for a little color and height. Um, before I was a kitten heel girl, I was a block heel girl, okay? These shoes became like, this type of shoe became like my staple to the point where Kiara was like, mom, can you please just buy any other pair of shoes other than those? But they're so easy and they're super cute. Now, this pair is from Steve Matten. This particular color is no longer available. However, this style is originally, um, I shouldn't say originally, but this style to me was inspired by the Sam Edelman um, sandals as well. Like they have a Block Hill sandal that they've 
release every season in a ton of colors, patterns, like everything. They're really cute. I will link those because this style from Steve Madden is no longer available. Um, like I said, the ones from Sam Edelman are like their staples. They have them in um, cow, tiger, zebra, black, silver, gold, like everything you can think of. I will link it down. These are really fun if you like a heel but you want something that is still very supportive, the block heel is the way to go. Um, these are not comfortable by any means. I will not even <laughs> I will not even lie to you and tell you these shoes are comfortable because they're not. These are the shoes that I pull out when I'm suffering from cute shoe syndrome, which means I'm not dancing, I am not walking, I am sitting and looking very cute, okay? This is the shoe I go for. <laughs> and some people may not have that problem. Um, typically, I order these true to size from Steve Matten, but if I'm going for the same Edelman's, I always go up a half a size, so I'm gonna get these in an eight. With Steve Matten, I can do a seven and a half. They fit great, they're not comfortable. So I think the last pair of shoes that I'm gonna share with you is a pair of wedge sandals. I know this has been a point of debate. Are wedge sandals cute? I don't know like if there's an official answer to that, but what I do know is wedges are back and they're back in a big way. Not only in sandals, but honey, wedge sneakers are back. Have you guys seen that? I can't believe it. Like brands are actually re-releasing wedge sneakers like crazy. These are kind of like a hybrid. I love that it has this really, um, fun kind of like sneaker like sole but then you have beautiful leather like um I don't know what you call this like what do you call this design I don't know whatever I love the leather straps on this one the color phenomenal these are also from Lene Palio I got these in a seven no actually I got these in an eight so this is the first time I ordered sandals and I ordered these in an eight. I wish I would have gotten a seven and a half only because of the way that the arch sits on these. When Kiera, she's gonna actually do the try on. She's an eight and these are an eight. You'll see they fit her perfectly. For me, there's just a little, maybe like a half, not even a half really, like maybe a half of a half of um, shoe width that's a little bit too big. With that being said, my arch doesn't sit perfectly in them, so they're not as comfortable for me, but what I'm going to do is just pick up a little shoe pad that I can put here, and that'll help make up the room. Um, but I'll, overall, these are really cute. Um, they come in pink, black, and tan, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's three colors, and I think it's pink, black, and tan. I love this color in particular. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and again, like the leather detail, like you just, you can't beat that. With that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Would you like to see more shoe hauls on this channel? Let me know. Um, I love shoes. I, I mean, this honestly is not even... <laughs> I hate to say it but it's not even half of my summer shoe collection it was just what i thought were necessities um with that being said if you guys would love to see more shoes just let me know down in the comments and i definitely will share more because i probably love shoes more than i love clothes it's kind of funny um shoes and sunglasses like shoes and sunglasses are my thing clothes are like a necessity but those are like the really fun things if you're not already following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? It's Candy's Land on all platforms. I do daily vlogging. I share lots of hot buys, things that will sell out way before I could get them to a YouTube video. So don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram at Candy's Land. And most importantly, go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it. I love you guys. Be blessed.